All educators, school staff, and volunteers in Oregon's K-12 schools must be fully vaccinated by October 18th. Those who don't must provide proof of vaccination or receive a medical or religious exemption. Medford Superintendent Brett Champion says his district will not check religious exemption claims to ensure they are legitimate. The reality is we were handed a, a set of rules. We're abiding by those rules and we will continue to do so. It's what the state, how the state of Oregon has chosen to maintain this. And so we are, we are working to ensure that all of our employees do follow all those rules. The largest school district in the Rogue Valley says as long as its 1,500 employees get their completed forms in by the deadline, they will all be able to keep teaching. For any of those exceptions, um, we are requiring some additional um, requirement for those employees. That's per the, per the rule. Um, and so for us, that is uh, weekly testing, or if there's a concern with weekly testing, then the employee can meet with HR and talk about another standard, which could be a KN95 mask. In the Eagle Point School District, communications supervisor Dean McGinnis says human resources and the school board are working on educating their staff about the vaccine. We want to know, because we respect everybody's point of view, is are we going to be losing staff as well over this? He says the district has provided a timeline, including what dates would be necessary to schedule vaccination appointments in order to meet the deadline. He says they will also provide exemption forms online for staff to easily access if they choose to do so. We do not want any of our staff to be in a gray area where they're unsure um, where they stand, what they can do, what does an exemption mean. As far as handling religious exemptions goes, McGinnis says the school district is still figuring that process out. HR um, and appropriate parties will have a conversation with those people to talk about reasonable steps. Um, but at this point, there is nothing concrete about um, what those steps are. Both Medford and Eagle Point school districts agree keeping students safe and at school is the main priority with social distancing guidelines being strictly followed.